Join us now for Get Fit on ATMC TV Channel 3, bringing you the best of Brunswick. Welcome to Body Edge Fitness Solutions. My name is Brittany. We're here in Ocean Isle Beach and we're going to do some yoga this morning. Starting today's class, we're going to find ourselves in a supine position lying on our back. Easy, safe way to do that is by holding on to one of our hamstrings and gently using that as leverage, rolling all the way down onto the mat. And we'll start just finding our breath this morning, getting nice and comfortable. If we need to put something under our knees or under our head, anything to make us more comfortable, we can do that. And we'll start a little breathing exercise first, placing the right hand on the lower belly, left hand on the chest. Just resting them gently there. And as we start breathing in and out through our nose, we want to start sending that breath to our lower belly where our diaphragm is. Noticing the rise and the fall of that right hand. Noticing the left hand's not moving so much at first. And bringing the breath nice and deep into the belly. Making that connection with the body and the breath, noticing the movement of the belly as we inhale and exhale. As we begin deepening the breath, allowing as we inhale, feeling that right hand move Feeling all the way up to the chest area. A nice visualization here is imagining the torso as a cup and we're pouring that breath in, filling from the bottom all the way to the top. breath to reach all the way up to the throat, exhaling, nice and slow. It's good to try and match the length of our inhale with the length of our exhale. Bringing the right knee into the chest. We inhale, holding on to that hamstring, pulling the knee towards our bodies. And as we switch sides with the exhale breath, holding on to that left knee, we're gonna reach the right leg, stretching it out away from the body, pulling the left knee into the chest. Moving at your own breathing rhythm, we just switch sides with the exhale. Bring some movement to the body, setting a pace for our breath and our practice. So when we're nice and even with our, maybe ending on the left side, even with our knee presses, we can bring both soles of the feet to the mat. 
we want those heels about hands width away from the tailbone. So if we reach out to the heels, we just barely touch them, finding the feet hips width apart. And if you're at home and you've got a ball or a block, we can place that in between the knees and imagine something there that's squeezing our thighs together. Palms are by our side, face down, feeling that pressure in the hands, the elbows, and the shoulders. So we'll take a nice cleansing breath to release all that stagnant air for a moment allowing us to take a nice big inhale through the nose. And as we begin that inhale, we'll start picking up the hips, pressing the feet into the mat and rolling all the way up to the shoulders here. The exhale breath brings us right back down, all the way back to that tailbone. And same as before with the breath, inhaling, lifting the hips, rolling all the way through the spine, keeping a nice long neck, and exhaling down, moving at your own pace, your own rhythm. Very important to keep those thighs engaged, squeezing the hamstrings, the glutes, helping our core here. And we'll take one more bridge. Reaching nice and high, pressing through those feet. And exhaling slowly. Very nice. So we'll bring the feet up, knees to a 90 degree angle. So those knees are right over our hips. Extending the arms out by our sides, palms face down. We're going to do some abdominal rotation. So starting with the right side, we're going to bring those knees to the right, just 6 to 12 inches off of the mat here. And we'll hold as we breathe. We're pressing that left hip against the mat, really getting a nice twist in our center abdominal muscles, our side bodies, and our hips. And we'll inhale to center here and go to the other side. So moving those knees to the left now, holding just between, anywhere between a foot to six inches is good, depending on how your body feels today. Nice breath, both shoulders on the mat. And we'll inhale back to center, taking it into a full spinal twist here. We'll exhale to the left, or to the right, excuse me. Just let the knees come all the way to the mat. Letting gravity take over for a moment. We can turn the head to the left hand, including that neck in our spinal twist. Nice relaxing breath here. And we'll inhale back to center. And exhale, spinal twist to the left letting those knees drop. If we want to turn our head to the right hand. Very nice twist here. Okay, and whenever you're ready, we're going to bring our right hand around to the left side of the body, turning our head to center and meeting on our hands and our knees. So taking our time here. So finding the knees under the hips, we're going to bring the elbows underneath the shoulders this morning and work on our spinal balance. So opposite arm, opposite leg, we're going to start by reaching that right leg out, pressing that wall behind us, left hand joins it, reaching in front of us, inhaling long, and exhale, we'll return the elbow, return the knee, and switch sides. Inhaling, left leg presses back, right hand forward, exhaling, switching. And we'll do this just a couple times on each side with the breath here. Inhaling, reaching, exhaling, switching. We want to be mindful to set that knee right back under the hip, elbow right back under that shoulder, keeping those joints stacked, proper alignment. And we'll exhale, return here, and find a 
a dolphin pose now. So this is very similar to our classic downward facing dog, except we're gonna stay on our elbows, curling our toes under here. We're gonna exhale, lifting the hips, pressing them up and back. Let that head drop to the floor. Take a little breath here and adding a flow whenever you're ready. Your next inhale breath is gonna shift that chest forward. So straightening out those hips slightly. We'll exhale, press it right back. Really good tricep work here. Inhale, moving forward. And exhale, lifting and pressing the hips back. One more time here, inhale forward and exhale back. At the bottom of your exhale, we'll drop to our hips. As we push those hips back, we're gonna rest the forehead in between the elbows into our puppy stretch. Nice pose to release the shoulders, the armpits. Very nice. As we inhale, we'll come back, shifting the weight forward, finding a plank position now. So we'll come up onto the hands, bringing those hands under our shoulders, extending out into our modified plank. So we're flat as a board from the shoulders to the knees here, giving ourselves room to, to expand or extend the hips. So inhale, holding, exhale, holding. Really feeling those tricep muscles. And we'll come into a lunge on your next inhale breath, bringing that right foot forward. And here we're stacking the joint steel, knee over ankle and walking it up whenever you're ready. So placing our shoulders over our hips, palms open up as we expand the chest for a breath, making sure they're nice and low, sliding down the back. Whenever you're nice and steady, we'll inhale, reach the arms overhead, palms touch, and we'll windmill those hands back down to the mat, stepping that right foot back to our plank position and exhale we're going to lower the chest to the mat dropping the hips inhaling the chest now to our cobra and as we exhale we'll come through the knees pressing back into our downward facing dog so we curl those toes under and lift the hips all the way up just for the breath here exhale knees come to the mat so we're back in that plank position, allowing us to come right into our lunge on the other side. So helping that left foot up there, knee over ankle, walking it up whenever you're ready. Shoulders over hips, inhaling those palms open, and we'll take that breath all the way up whenever you're ready, and exhale down. Hands to the mat, left knee back, meeting the right, and we'll lower whenever you're ready, exhaling, dropping the knees, inhale, lifting the chest, exhale, one more downward facing dog, curling the toes, lifting the hips, pressing that chest towards our thighs, nice relaxed neck here, we'll take a couple breaths. Strong shoulders, palms, and fingers are pressing into the mat. And whenever you're ready, dropping to our knees, we're gonna find that puppy stretch one more time. So resting the forehead in between the elbows, leaving the tailbone high, just letting that chest drop, opening the shoulders. On your next exhale breath, we'll walk it all the way to a child's pose. Bring the tailbone to the heels, resting the chest gently in the thighs, and breathing. All right, let's go ahead and grab our hand weights. Again, we're using anywhere from a three to a five pound hand weight pair.
And one pound. One pound is good too. If you're protecting a shoulder or something like that, you can use a lighter weight or I'll just use the range of motion. All right, we're gonna scoot up on the edge of our chair. We're gonna do a little bench press right here in our chair. Chair is supporting our back. We're looking up and we're just pressing it straight up and down. Good. Up and down. Up. Good. And there's eight. Seven. Six. How many? Five. Three, two, and last one. Now let's set those weights right here on our chest. We're gonna do a little crunch. We're working the abs, working the core right here. Then take it back. Now you don't have to let your back touch the chair if you don't want to. Pull that belly button in, contract those abdominal muscles, and squeeze. Good. There's eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and last one. All right, here we go. Right arm only. We're going to take it back, bend the elbow, and extend it straight up over your head. We're working the triceps, the back of the arm. Up and good. If you want to double up on your weight, you can certainly do that. Taking it up a notch. And other side. Here we go. Elbow goes up and extend the arm up and down. Try to keep your elbow out in front of your face by your forehead. Good. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good job. All right. Weights right here on your legs, on your resting on your thighs. We're just going to start to march it out. Just lift, lift, good, lift. Are we having fun yet? Yes. We call this fun, right? Yes, we do. Lift. <laughs> it's fun when you get to a 10. Oh, I don't know about that. Let's do this real fast. No, we'll keep it right here. How about we do four on one leg, on the right leg only. There's four, three, two, one. How about the other side for four, three, two, and one. Good. Let's go ahead and stand on up. How about some bicep curls? Elbows into the side. We bring it up to the shoulders and back down. Up and down. Good. How about bottom half? We're going to take it up to our belly button and back down. Belly button and down. Where's your belly button? It's not way up there. It's there. Right there. Right there. <laughs> now we're going to take it from our belly button, go up to our shoulders and back down to our belly button. Up. Good. Squeeze those bicep muscles. I want to see some big guns in the house. Here we go. There's eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Give me a little shoulder roll back and a little shoulder roll forward. So we just got off a holiday weekend, right? Did we do any of this where we lift and we pull and we bring it back to center and we set it on the table? Did we do any of that over the holiday weekend? Four. Center and down. It's water, right? It's a big old pitcher of water. Lift, pour, center, and down. Maybe iced tea. Lift, pour, center, and down. Lift, pour, center. Set it down one more time. Lift, pour, center, and down. Good. Bring those arms up. Bent 90 degrees. Butterfly press. Close and open. Good. Close and open. Keep those arms up. Good. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And last one. Good. Take it down to your side. We're going to bend to the right. Back to center. Stay on the right. Good. 
What muscles are we working here? Your obliques, right here, good. And reach down, keep your knees bent, good. Reach, three, two, one. How about we go to the other side? Here we go, and reach, bend, good. Nice proud chest, good, good. Three, two, and one, good. All right, it's springtime, it's time to go outside and cut the grass, we're gonna do a little lawnmower. You can double up on the weights if you want to, or you can set one weight down in your chair. You wanna use the chair for support, all right, and we're gonna start the lawnmower, just driving that elbow up. Little one arm, one arm shoulder row. Good. Now keep your chest lifted up. Keep your chest lifted up. You can either use a knee or the chair for support. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. How about the other side? Here we go. Chest squared up to the floor, drive that elbow up, up, good. My lawnmower's not wanting to start here. Let's give it a few more yanks. There's four, three, two, and last one, good. All right, both weights in your hands. Come to one side of the chair. We're gonna bend those knees for squats. Up. Good. Keep your chest lifted. Knees not traveling out over your toes. How many of these do you want to do? A hundred. <laughs> Somebody in the back said a hundred. I heard them. Down and up. How about four, three, two, and last one, good. How about we set the weights down in the chair for a second. Let's all walk around to the right hand side of the chair. All right, take that outside knee out. We're gonna bend the back knee down and up for some lunges. Down and up, good. So the chair, we've got it there for support if you need it. If you don't need it, that's fine. If you're dealing with a knee issue, just don't take it down very far. Keep it up top, otherwise take it on down. Good, good, nice. Are you feeling it? Yeah? Three, two, one. How about the other side? Walk around to the other side of the chair. Outside leg goes up and bend that knee and down and up. Down, good, down. Front knee not traveling out over your toe. And again, if you don't need the chair for support, we can work on balance a little bit here too. Nice. Four, three, two, and last one, good. Pull one heel up behind you for a little stretch right there in the quads, good. And let's do the same thing on the other leg. Pull it up behind you. All right, good, let's go around to the front of the chair. Let's take it down, grab those weights. Put one leg out, reach over to the side, put those weights away. You wanna be careful about reaching in the front. Quick drink of water. We're gonna work with our bands. Let me hear some numbers. Where are we at? Perceived exertion, scale of one to 10. Six, seven, good, good. All right, important to keep yourself hydrated, so drink up. And let's go ahead and grab our band. We've got a resistance band with handles. We are going to step on the band. <clears throat> nice tall posture, sitting up nice and proud. We're gonna make an X right across the front. And we're gonna step out to the right, and then left, side to side. Right, step, left, in, right, left, good. Right 
Left, how about two on the right? One, two, two on the left. One, two, how about four and four? Here we go, there's four, three, two, other side for four, three, two, how about eight singles side to side? There's right and left and there's six and five and four. Reach out there. Three, two, and one. Good. While we're right here, we're going to take our right arm on the inside of our knee for a little concentrated bicep curl. Sweep it up across your chest and back down. Using the inside of your knee for support with that elbow. Reach it up and down. Good. Sweeping it across the chest. Good. Here we go. Let's do eight real fast. There's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And slow it down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I got to keep you balanced, so we got to do the other side. Elbow resting on the inside of that knee and sweep it up across your chest. Squeeze those bicep muscles. Good. And sweep. Sweep it across your chest. Good. I hear muscles growing in the house. All right, how about we do how many real fast? You want to do eight? Here we go. And there's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's slow it down for four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. How are those arms feeling on a scale of one to ten? Yeah? All right, let's go ahead and bring it on up. Let's bring it on up. All right, we're going to do our little bow and arrow move, okay? So we're going to take our right hand through the handle just like this. Left hand comes up underneath the handle, and you take it back, oh, about 12 to 18 inches. You can double up underneath. Bow and arrow, we got a target. It's over here on this side of the room. We're going to pull it back and release. Pull it back and release. Good. Pull it back. Where's our target? You see a target? Speaker. Nice. And let's pulse it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And let's slow it down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Now grab the band right in the center. Take it out about shoulder width. You can double up there if you want to. We got a little pull right across the center of the chest. Good. Take it up and pull it right across. Good. Nice. Feel the resistance of the band. Now the thicker bands, the red ones have a little more resistance. The thinner bands have a little less. How about eight, seven, Six. How many? I need to hear your voices. Five, four, three, two, and last one. Give me a little shoulder roll back. How the shoulders feel in scale of one to ten? Seven. We got one more side to do. Here we go. Take our left hand through the handle, bow and arrow. Right hand comes up. Take it back about 12 inches. We got a target on this side of the room. It's the door. We're going to pull it back. Release. Pull it back and release. Good. Bow and arrow. Good. And how about we do eight real fast? There's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and slow it down for eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, and last one. Good. My shoulders are burning. How about yours? Give me a little shoulder roll back. And a little shoulder roll forward. Good.